Welcome to Fashion Police and this week as promised we're going to be showcasing what celebrities gave us in terms of fashion, sass and glam on this past weekend, okay? First one on the list we're going to start with Tando Tareto when she blessed us with the snaps on a Friday and um, as you know she's a radio girl so this look is kind of like acceptable from me to her it's acceptable because she's a radio girl she's behind the scenes you know not that you're not supposed to look glam when you're doing radio but i love her there's a little bit of style in this track suit <laughs> and the uh, the uh, the turkeys are nice yeah as you can see she's giving us great honey she's a she's a beautiful girl you know she's a beautiful girl i don't know in terms of fashion what her brand um is trying to highlight the beautiful gorgeous Bunche Mudisele was just sparkling in this uh cocktail dress i would call it that as you know she's expecting a bundle of joy and uh yeah there's so there's so many people expecting expecting bundle of joys and um they are giving us fashion i don't know what she's giving me here i honestly don't know but as long as she's comfortable and glowing i don't have a problem with that um next up is dj zinke she was at a meet and greet at the mall of africa and uh, she had a celebrity friend nomuzi mabena oh my gosh guys nomuzi has arrived I think it's safe to say Nomuzi has finally touched the surface. Have you seen her fashion lately? Like, I don't know. She's giving me Ali, the late Aliyah. She's giving me the Beyonce. She's giving me, she's giving me her own version of, I don't know, of Nomuzi. Like, I love her style lately. And I think I'm going to feature her on this, um, on this page more often because she is giving it to us she is a hip-hop artist she is a v entertainment um presenter and doing other things so i think she's taking her style into the right direction if she did hire a stylist well congrats on her because it is working now <clears throat> she went to support her friend dj zinkler dj zinkler looked I love this tomboyish look that she always gives us, but it's a meet and greet. Like when people get there, they must be like, oh, wow. <clears throat> you get my point? They must be like, wow. Oh, my gosh. Like DJ Zinkle arrived in, like in 2017 and 18 slash 18. Now it's 2019. I don't know if she fired her, her stylist or what, but she she even went on like a fashion something of the year 2017 and 18 to show that the fashion was on point i don't know she needs a new stylish because she has a banging body she's a beautiful woman and she's successful she's getting successful i don't even know her as a dj no more because she's doing many other beautiful things and i think in terms of fashion when you go into a meet and greet guys you must you must look because some people are going to meet you for the first time you must look the part you get my point like in this picture i i, I think she was the one that is um supporting nomuzi mabena it was nomuzi mabena's meet and greet and she was just there as a friend supporting her you know i love her i, I have nothing against her i feel like her style in 2017 and 18 was bomb as fuck like she should get back that stylist again to style her because now she's kind of like her style is kind of like did, like it's going down <laughs> you get my point but she look she looked fine i just i i was gonna be disappointed as a fashion lover as somebody who wants to see the celebrities bring it and i get to a meet and greet and you wearing like that you're wearing like you're going to 24 days but anyway before i get rude Let's just move over to the Queen Bee. Bonama Teba was hold, hosting an, an uh, what, gala dinner somewhere in America, in Texas, you know, and she, wow. Like, 
honestly speaking i was gonna be disappointed if you fly all the way to texas as the queen bee bona mateba and you were gonna bore the people but she didn't she has a nice pop week she's busy giving us a long feather dress and she did tag designers on her post you know in the dress and her style director i mean she's She's a big personality. She, she she just she she just can't pick a dress and just go and host the gala dinner. Obviously, she has to has have a stylist because she's a big girl. After that, after hosting the award, she posted this snap. I really have to stand. Like, I have to stand, guys. Like, did you see? Like, she's chilling, waiting for an airplane. I would like to think at an airport lounge drinking something it's a it, it this is giving me this is something i would wear when i'm going to the mall to get to catch something so she is so fashion forward look at the glasses my gosh look at the shoes the socks and she did it intentionally to put the socks there like i think still she is still on top of the game when it comes to fashion in terms of south africa i haven't even touched a global stage yet even if it, in the global stage she can still beat some people then we move along to so easy guys i have to talk about this because um idols was boring last night and i was like i looked and so easy came i kept on looking at him the whole night actually i even forgot i'm watching idols the weave is on point the lashes the lashes uh, the lashes are from a lkg yeah flatter by lkg the lashes the, the the makeup that thing that he's wearing that thing is a showstopper outfit and i have to commend him he's really he's so this is, is entertainment and in terms of fashion i think he's also like fashion forward so yeah and lastly i'm gonna go to I'm gonna talk about this because I loved it. And Tando Duma and her baby, baby girl hit the runway. It was causing cozy runway because there was a fashion week happening, as you all know, if you follow fashion. And on the runway, there were many other celebrities, you know, yo yo pinky girl, Candice Mudisele, and um, influencers, and uh, ex um, Miss S.A. The current Miss SA and ex Miss SA finalists were on the runway, and I kind of I love that the Duma and her daughter they look adorable, and also that dress. Oh my gosh, you need to you guys need really need to check Cosin Gossip's collection, it was amazing. I know I said last, but let's let's go back to DJ Z. She also on the cover of a Cosmopolitan magazine for October issue. and like like i said before even though i didn't like the outfit of the meet and greet she has a banging body she is pretty i love the cover like in terms of makeup is on point those glasses those eyes like this is nice this is a nice cover actually <laughs> if i was here i was gonna frame it like frame it in my house like a very big wall of it she's pretty i love her i love the makeup i love the, the person that styled the shoot did wonders and that's it for the that's it on fashion police on what the celebrities wore this weekend if i didn't cover any celebrity on this page then uh they didn't give me enough sauce to talk about them <laughs> i'm kidding i will cover them next time love you bye